We are back and here for another apartment tour. Hello and welcome back. I am so excited to be here with apartment number two of our rental reality series. If you missed the first one, we'll go ahead and put a link here and down in the description so that you can make sure you're caught up. Today, we are in the home of my dear friend, Danielle Jackson. I have known Danielle like basically since I moved to New York and I have always been an admirer of her style and her home style. So I'm so excited to share her apartment with you. So let's stop chit chatting and get right into it. Hi guys, I'm Danielle and Celia said we've known each other for, I don't know, maybe upwards of 10 years, maybe more. Anyway, so Celia's my girl and I'm welcoming, welcoming her into my apartment. I am the co-founder of A Dark Beauty, a digital platform looking to help women craft their journey, specifically women of color in the mental health and wellness space. I'm also a photo shoot producer. I live here in Harlem. I'm from New York. Harlem's been my home for, I would say, ever, post-grad. Now I'm living in a two-bedroom with my husband. They told me to figure out the square footage, but I, we'll get back to that. They'll post it in the YouTube world somewhere here, here, or here. And so, welcome. Welcome to my home. We pay uh, just a little bit over $2,500. So, you know, get your coins together. If you're interested in following me on the internet, you can follow me on Instagram at this is Danielle J. And then more importantly, um, I'd love for you to join us on Dark Beauty. And our handle is this is DRK Beauty. Thanks. I've been living in this particular Harlem apartment since March. Actually, fun fact, we moved in the first day of the pandemic on March 15th. A little scary, but yeah, this is where we are. I do like renting from the fact that there's a maintenance man, a super, everything's handled, something breaks, I got somebody to call. I have not owned a place just yet. It is a goal of ours, um, and that goal and that bar is set kind of high because we want to own in Harlem, which we know is sky high with regards to real estate. But thinking about owning is a little bit scary because then I know it's all on us and we gotta call the locksmith, the plumber, the the whoever, the lumber man, whoever to make it all what we want it to be. So for right now, renting is perfect for us. So with regards to the DIYs in our apartment, our previous apartment had a lot of DIYs. Coming here, we decided we wanted to do a little bit less, little, be a little bit more intentional with our DIYs. So we do have a painting that my husband did that we did bring from our old apartment. We have a new mural, a new wall that we worked on together. This pandemic has been great for creativity. So we have an accent wall in our living room with an indinker symbol that means harmony. It's the moon and the sun together. In our bedroom, we painted that a uh, more forest green to keep us very grounded. And then just little knickknacks here and there, um, and also purchases from other companies out there that do DIY. So my decor style is a little bit, I would say modern, contemporary, but with a twist. There's a lot of uh, pattern mixing, vibrant colors, rich colors. So I don't know what that's called, but I definitely know I have a modern, contemporary, uh, leaning taste bud. This home, what's really important for us when we were decorating our home was to make sure that anyone who came through felt invited, right? You felt like you never wanted to leave, you felt warm. A lot of even our light bulbs are a warm vibe. Um, you can't see at night during daylight, but at night it's very warm in here. So when you enter our home, there is a 
beautiful CB2 mirror. It's a wooden frame um, complemented by a what's well, a bedside table actually. That was kind of a hack there. Um, it's a small space. It's a quite narrow, but we wanted to make sure there's something kind of, you, you know, you drop all. You drop the keys, you drop the shoes, you drop everything. So that's there. Um, and then, you know, with COVID, there's a, there's a handy dandy hand sanitizer. So get you one close to your door. From there, you know, as you look deeper into the apartment, there's a bench for guests, an overflow of guests to sit on. Um, we actually got that from Craigslist. I am still on Craigslist. Um, I know there are serial killers and stuff on there, but somehow we've lucked out. So love my little Craigslist bench. It's a DIY piece with um, put together through um, repurposed wood, so kind of giving back to the earth. We love books. We love coffee table books, so we have a ton of those. Um, books that pay homage to where we live, Harlem, the history, the rich history here. A lot of fashion, that's me, that's where the producer comes in. My husband loves everything boxing, so there's a lot of first publishing, published, excuse me, not publishing, published books in there. A lot of books with regards to finance and numbers, which I know nothing about. But it is, if you look at our book collection, it is truly a reflection of the two of us and our interests. Our living room is a, goes back to that kind of modern contemporary vibe in which we're mixing and matching. There's, as I mentioned before, pattern play, pops of colors. We have an accent chair that's more of like a citrine mustard vibe. Um, my husband thinks it's his, but it's really mine. So we fight about it a lot. We have an amazing, an amazing nine foot leather sofa that we don't have enough time to explain how it got into our apartment, but it is here. She is a rab, she is in one piece. It's a beautiful piece. I think it will be with us forever. As I mentioned also, we have our lovely DIY wall. It is not a stencil, I repeat, not a stencil. My husband hand painted each and every one of them. Um, it took longer than I wanted it to take, but it's done, okay? Going into what's really on display, we are, again, about comfort, family, togetherness, community. So we do have pictures from our wedding of our family and friends. We used to have so many more and we decided to scale back this time, as I mentioned, we moved this year. But we are very intentional with family. Also, what you'll see in our entryway, in our living room, are a number of candles. And you'll see them everywhere. There are candles in the kitchen, there's candles in the bedroom, there's candles in the bathrooms. Bathrooms, there's one and a half, haha. -ha. Um, I love candles, there's can and they don't all smell the same, so it's like a nice cacophony of scents in here. Um, it goes back to the warmth and comfort that we want you to feel. Um, and those candles I mostly buy from Marshalls, although, I have fallen in love with Harlem Candle Company. That's more of a local retailer here. Check them out. Beautiful scents. Definitely check them out. Uh, and also women owned. You go. As you move into our dining area, you know, we like to say these rooms have to, it's all one room go. But you know, our dining space, what was interesting is we did not have a ceiling light over there. Um, so we made it a deal with an electrician and he put up this beautiful light and connected it to our outlet. I did not know that this could be done, but it can be done. So if you don't have ceiling lights, get you an electrician and kind of invest in that if that's what you want. From there, you will see that I have a green thumb or I like to feel like I have a green thumb. Celia is the green thumb mother. I call her all the time. But I have a number of babies. I think I'm up to 14. They are tall and small and fat and all the things. They used to all have names. I can't remember them anymore, but they do equally receive the same amount of love. And from there, I guess the newest green, green thing in our house is the Christmas tree. It's massive, but who knows how long that's gonna last because Christmas trees take a lot of love. We have a bar area, an entertaining area. Hasn't really been put into full use yet, as again, COVID, but you will see that. And then a real focal point over there is our egg chair, which I think everyone knows and loves. I've posted it on Instagram. 
and again we get great response from it it's very comfy it's very cozy you kind of get in there we read on the weekends and someone's always in that chair so that is our living room dining room and entryway one giant perk about this apartment other than its beautiful size it's actually the largest place that i've ever lived being a new yorker is that we have a terrace um it is everything is kind of packed away so because of the winter, it snowed more recently, but it's a focal point for us. We go out there, we actually bought a projector and we play movies at night and we project onto the ceiling and watch fun movies when it's warmer outside. And then I am a fitness lover. My friends will say avid. I just think I like to keep it together. Instead of investing in a Peloton, I got a converter for my road bike. So there are two places in our apartment that's very, that are very monochrome, and that's our kitchen and our full bathroom. When I say monochrome, very black and white. Our kitchen, I wish our tiles were black and white and it would really play up to that piece, but they are not. Another thing that I was intentional about when we moved here was to keep those countertops clear, <laughs> clean, and practically un empty. I admire all the homes where everything is kind of hidden and you have no idea where anything is. I wish I had that right now. We try to keep the appliances more, more specifically uh, the ones that we use daily. Just like don't keep out the mixer, you're not baking every day. Kettles out, the, and it's an electric kettle that we just got and I love it. Um, an electric kettle, a Keurig, a toaster, and a blender. Those things are equally used every day. So that's why they're out. Otherwise they'd be hidden far, 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 far away. All pots are hidden too. We have one and a half baths in this apartment. Our first bath, which is a full bath, is our homage to New York in New York City. Um, you'll see from the wallpaper, which is one of the DIY things that we did during this time. It has Biggie on it, it has Williamsburg on it, and then also I found this really cute silver map of New York City's transit system that we put up. So that is the other monochrome place within our apartment. And then our half bath, which I don't, it's not ours, it's mine, um, has kind of like my robe collection because I love robes, but I like to call it the rainforest bathroom. I always like to think I'm going on like an architectural digest kind of description. So it's our rainforest half bath, and I actually did the wallpaper alone. Um, my mom and husband were in the living room, and I said, I'm gonna do this today. And I did it and I came out an hour and a half later and they were quite surprised that I was able to handle it alone. And actually that purchase was from Etsy. So check out Etsy wallpapers. They're pretty uh, cool and removable too. So we do have a second bedroom, but I'm not gonna show you what's happening in there because it's a work in progress. And that progress is it's like a half office, half storage, half, you know, there's a lot of halves, but you get what I'm saying and the master piece de resistance is, is our uh, bedroom. Moving into this new apartment, we decided we wanted to have a very adult bedroom, as Celia always tells us, we have a very adult bedroom. Um, I actually wanted a canopy, bed frame, and that was quickly voted out. So we have a butterfly bed frame. Um, it is a mink velvet, fancy. Um, it is from CB2. It was like the biggest piece that we invested in um, in our home other than our accent chair in the living room. And then everything else is from Great and Barrel, I will say. Fun fact, our dresser actually is a floor model and there is this company on Instagram that I found that sells floor models and delivers to you. So instead of you going into the store and then you're like, where can I find a U-Haul or whatever? they have a plethora of furniture items that they find and they resell and you get a discount and to keep you know with the same sentiment of family and us and, and what we really believe in again the harmony and balance of our relationship 
you'll see photos of us. Actually, the two largest photos in the room as I think about it are us in action. Um, we're not posing. Uh, one is from our wedding and it just someone just happened to catch us from behind and I blew that up. And another is we were at an engagement party and it seems like I'm admiring what the man has to say. Uh, he's quite funny. Um, so I love those two pieces. All the images and all the photos that I remember devoted to us. I don't know if that's narcissistic, but I think it not being narcissistic is more about a tribute to our love for one another. Okay, ladies. So this is really what you came to see. I, I, I feel it in my heart. I know this is not a tour of closets, but this is my first walk-in. There was no conversation had as to whose closet it was. It is mine, has been mine since day one, is a walk-in closet job. And somehow, being me, and probably not weird for anybody else, I have filled it to the brim. Um, and there's still stuff that doesn't fit. But I have key pieces in there that I know and love and I, I kind of want to put them on display, but I don't um, just because I think I would need a bigger closet for that. But I'd love to share with you those key pieces. But this is literally a walk-in. I've curated it by color. Um, right now it's my fall winter wardrobe that's in there. It will get switched out seasonally for spring summer. Um, shoes, not so much, but you know, because you never know. You never know if you want a high boot with a little short or whatever. But shoe stay, wardrobe switches out, bag stay, accessories such as hats stay. Um, so I hope you enjoy it. I hope you feel inspired because a little bit of OCD in me, Marie Kondo, it has to be kind of color coordinated and, and, and that's, what we're, that's what we're working with. for inviting us into your lovely home. You. I'm so happy to share it with you guys on YouTube. Please give Danielle all the flowers in the comments Thumbs and tell up. her how much you enjoyed this tour. <laughs> Hopefully we'll be back with another episode of Rental Reality soon. But until then, as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.